Hi all, spring is actually here. And you know what that means, spring cleaning. We get asked as opticians all the time, how come you can clean our glasses better than we can? So let's go through a little tutorial on how to care for your glasses and how do you clean your glasses. First, you wanna think about the care of your glasses. When your glasses aren't on your face, here's the golden rule. Off your face, in the case. If you're not gonna put your glasses in your case, make sure that you are not storing them with the frame front down. Um, this can lead to you sliding the glasses on a surface and can also scratch the top of your frame or even create discoloring in certain spots. If you're not gonna keep your frame in your case, be sure and fold it and lay the frame like this on your cabinet or wherever you're keeping your frame. Even better would be to lay it on the cleaning cloth. When you're cleaning your glasses, the first thing to understand is that you should make sure that your glasses are fitting properly. If your glasses do not fit properly, they're gonna slip on you, they're gonna feel tight, uh, they're gonna rest on your cheeks, and all of those things. So you wanna make sure to stop by your optician every now and then and make sure your glasses are adjusted. Natural wear on your glasses can cause them to come out of adjustments, and if you stop by every now and then, we'll be glad to help you and fit those properly. The things to think about is the biggest culprits for cleaning your glasses are obviously outside elements, uh, rain, snow, dust, um, and also the oils in your skin. So if your glasses are slipping on you, then you're gonna constantly be pushing them up. Chances are you're gonna hit those lenses a couple of times. The other thing is that if they're slipping, they're gonna rest on your cheeks at this point. So the oils on your skin are gonna gather on the bottom of the frame and the bottom of the lens. Your oiliest part of the frames are obviously your temple insides and right here in the nasal part of your frames. So those are the places that you want to think about um, cleaning first when you're cleaning your frame. If you wear a frame with nose pads, nose pads on your frames, those are going to be extremely oily when you take them on and off and when you're cleaning that you're gonna accidentally pull the oil off of that nose pad onto your lens. So a good rule of thumb, clean your nose pad first before cleaning your lens. The tilt of the frame or how it's fitting on you uh, on your face can make a big difference as to whether the oil is gathering in certain spots. So rule of thumb, every time you walk by your optician, walk in and say hello, we love seeing you. But more importantly, we'll take your glasses, we'll clean them for you, and we'll adjust them for you. Make sure when you're cleaning your glasses, you wanna use the proper tools. So the proper tools are your microfiber cleaning cloth. Uh, I know that we provide a cleaning cloth to every client who purchases a frame or walks through our door. The microfibers are very important because if you're using paper of any sort, and yes, that means Kleenex, paper towels, any of those, are gonna scratch your lenses over time and scratch your frame. We don't always think about your frame, we think more about the scratches in your lenses, but you wanna take care of your frame as well. The microfibers are designed not to hold dirt, even dust particles, so that's why they are better than your shirt tail or 100% cotton, um, because all of those things can retain grains of sand or dirt in, your, in the fiber, and when you start cleaning your lens, you're gonna scratch little circles into your frame. You're probably also given by your optician a cleaner. Make sure to use that. You don't have to use that every time unless you're in environments where you're constantly getting oils or that kind of thing on your frame. Uh, you want to use the cleaner that the optician provides for you. Um, if you buy cleaning cloths from like a Walgreens or things like that, um, you've got to pay attention to the alcohol content in cleaning solution as well as those cleaning wipes. If you open it up and there's a strong smell of alcohol, you should not use that cleaning wipe. Alcohol can be very bad for certain lens materials. Over time, it can actually crack them. But more importantly, certain frames have coatings on them and by cleaning it with alcohol, you're gonna dull the finish on your frames. Sometimes you'll even just take it right off. So you've gotta be super careful when cleaning with alcohol. When we clean frames, generally, we're going to give a spray on the lens. 
doesn't take a lot. And then we're gonna take the cleaning cloth and I always start with the nasal portion of the lens. So I always take my cleaning cloth and pull here. So notice I'm making swipes, not circles. Circles, if you have oil on your lens, you're just simply gonna circle that oil around your lens. You'll get some of it off, but you won't get all of it off. So start with your nasals, clean and swipe it, and I trade spots on the cleaning cloth. I make the same motion across the bottom of the lens, and I make sure to get into the groove of the frame as well. Once you've done that, you've probably gotten the oiliest parts of your um, lens clean. You can just start swiping left to right, just literally pulling it off the lens like so. You'll repeat the same thing on the other side. And you can do that a couple of times and then you should end up with nice and clean lenses on your frame. If you wear a frame that is semi-rimless or it has no frame on the bottom, or in this case, there's a groove around this entire lens, you're gonna to wanna to bring that to us at EFP Opticians so that we can run it through a sonic cleaner because that'll shake the dirt out of the grooves of the lens, or sometimes we actually take the lens out and physically clean it and put it back in. We also take the time to look at your nose pads. Remember, if your nose pads are starting to discolor, be sure and come in because eventually they'll probably just break off. We always replace both nose pads at the same time, or if you have temple covers that need replacing, we'll do those at the same time too. It only makes sense because the material will wear at the same rate. If you replace one and not the other, you're gonna end up with different wear times on those materials and it could be different colors as well. When you're cleaning your sunglasses, make sure. Sunglasses we wear all the time outdoors, sometimes at the beach, we're running in them, we're playing volleyball in them, we're doing those kind of activities where there's lots of dirt and dust. Um, you wanna run those under warm, soapy water before you clean the lens because you could have those dust particles in your lens or on your lens and you don't want to scrape those all across the lens. Sunglasses often have mirror coatings like this one. A lot of mirror coatings can scratch very easily. So you wanna make sure, one, that you're buying uh, a good quality sunglass if you want the mirror because those tend to have uh, a coating on the mirror that's gonna help protect it from scratches. If you don't have any of those tools available, warm soapy water is the best thing you can use. Make sure that you're not using an abrasive soap um, Dawn, the original Dawn dishwashing liquid is something that works well, but not the advanced versions that have more chemicals for cleaning. You want just a good basic soap. Um, and it's warm water, not hot water, because your hot water can take finishes off, can distort the frame, and in some cases can harm the lenses. So there's your cleaning tips, but the biggest one I can give you is be friends with your opticians, come in and say hello. We'll be more than happy to clean your frames as often as you walk through the door. Have a great day.